Yes, yes, another video talking about the issues in Genshin Impact, but hear me out on this one. What I want to talk about today is artifact farming. If you started farming for artifacts, then you probably already have an idea of what I want to touch upon. If you haven't started artifact farming yet, then let me explain how it works. Alright, first off, you need to select the domain with the artifacts you wish to farm. That's all well and good. But then you realize that each run costs 20 resin. Considering we get about 180 resin per day, that's exactly 9 runs of domains each day, or 9 chances to get the artifact you're looking for. It doesn't sound too bad. But, there are two different sets in each domain. So right there your chances are more or less halved from getting the set you wish. Still, not too terrible, nothing that consistently farming won't get you. This is the first layer of the RNG. There are five in total. Yes, five. What's the second one? Well, that's getting the main stat you want in certain pieces. The pieces with variable main stats are the Sands of Eon, the Goblet of Eonotham, and the Circlet of Logos. For simplicity, I'll call them Sands, Goblet, and Helmet. I'll break down all the main stats you can roll on each of those. For the Sands, you have the following possible stats, HP percentage, defense percentage, attack percentage, and elemental mastery. For the goblet, you have the following possible stats. HP percentage, defense percentage, attack percentage, elemental mastery, physical pyro, hydro, cryo, electro, geo, animo, damage bonus percentage. For the helmet, you have the following possible stats. HP percentage, defense percentage, attack percentage, elemental mastery, crit rate percentage, crit damage percentage, and healing bonus. That's quite a variety of stats, isn't it? But wait, I did mention there are five layers of RNG. This is only the second. Let's move on. The next layer of RNG is getting the substats you want. They are as follows. Flat HP, flat attack, flat defense, HP percentage, attack percentage, defense percentage, elemental mastery, energy recharge percentage, crit rate percentage, and crit damage percentage. <sighs> yeah, you can have a total of 4 substats, and you better hope that you get the ones you want, usually crit rate and crit damage. Sounds like a slog already? Let's now talk about the 4th layer of RNG. When a 5 star artifact drops, it usually comes with 3 substats. But sometimes, if you're lucky enough, you might get a 5 star artifact that has all of the 4 substats unlocked. This one doesn't sound too bad. Unless you're an avid min-maxer, and hear about the last layer of RNG. The last layer is substat upgrades. Every 4 levels on your artifact, one of your substats is upgraded. And you guessed it, it's random. Let's say you finally roll that crit rate helmet you've been farming for. And it also has amazing substats like crit rate, crit damage, and attack percentage. Oh, but what's that at the end? Is that flat defense? Eh, you can live with it. Unless you start upgrading your artifact, you reach level 4, and the flat defense gets upgraded. You let out a slight sigh of frustration and accept what happened. You have three great substats that surely will be upgraded by the time you reach level 20 on your artifact. And before you know it, you maxed out the artifact and you've been getting upgrades on nothing but your flat defense stat. Of course, this is highly unlikely but still possible. I just wanted to make a point. So, we've talked about all of the 5 layers of RNG that surrounds artifact farming. Does that 9 runs per day still sound alright? Maybe yes, probably not. As such, what would be some solutions to this? The simplest one is to just remove resin from artifact domains. Of course, they would also have to remove the adventure rank XP you get from them, but I think that's a fair compromise. You already have these five layers RNG on top of all the characters that are currently out and will come out in the future. If there is no resin for artifact domains, then we're free to farm that perfect artifact for our characters. If you're a busy person with only time in the weekends to play, then you're free to farm to your heart's content when you have the time, instead of finally being able to sit down and enjoy some Genshin only to be gated by the resin. The second, more realistic change they could make is halve the resin cost. 10 resin per run would amount to 18 runs per day, 
which is much better and would give us more chances to find that perfect artifact while still not being able to just finish all the artifacts on everyone too soon. Although farming perfect artifacts for all the characters would still take a lot of time, even without resin. The third solution I have is the implementation of a reroll system. It can be for either main stats, substats, or both. If you got the main stats you wanted, but the substats are bad, then you can use the reroll system to hope for better substats instead of going through all the five layers of RNG again for the domain. I'm thinking of it being an item. You may have heard of a game called The Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross. They have anvils, which reroll your substats on your gear instead of farming for new ones. As for where one might obtain this item, I think it would be appropriate to add it as a reward from the Spiral Abyss. Why else would you want to min max your stats if not for the most challenging content in the game currently, right? Manage to get 9 stars on floor 9? Here, have 5 or even 10 rerolling items for your artifacts. In my opinion, it doesn't sound too broken, and it's more incentive to get extra stars under the abyss on top of the Primo gems and Mora. Finally, I want to say that I really like the artifact system in general. Finally getting that amazing artifact to drop feels so good. But the frustration from running the same domain for days on end only to be screwed by all the RNG and to have your happiness being diminished with each upgrade you didn't want is... really frustrating. These are my three possible solutions for the artifact issue. It's my first time making a video of this kind, so please leave your comments below and let's discuss. If you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing to the channel, that would be amazing. See you next time!